Yes, lads, I'm back bringing you another video. Uh, this time it will be my favourite five home kits from this year's championship selection. There'll be five kits. I know you're going to disagree. I'll also be doing worst kits, best home kits, worst away kits in future videos. So uh, make sure to subscribe and keep a lookout for them. So in fifth position, my fifth favourite kit will be Bristol City's home kit, all red. Nice little white sponsor. I love the logo, sort of um, font on the sponsor. I love how the badge fits in with it. I like the new badge in general. And I think it's a very nice, smart little kit. You know, very nice, very appealing. And in fourth place, my fourth favourite kit, home kit of the 2019-2020 uh, season, is going to be biased or that bollocks. It is Nottingham Forest kit. And now a lot of our fans don't like the kit. I personally like it. I think Macron's first attempt at our kit, I think they've done the right job. Uh, I like how the sponsor sort of fits in with the logo and the uh, Macron badge. Um, obviously, if you disagree, you can't because we're the best club and we're going to win the league. So it's a shame because this kit's going to go to the Premier League. But uh, yeah, that's my uh, fourth favourite kit this year. Now my into the top three. My third favourite uh, kit for the 2019-2020 season is Wigan Athletics own kit. Sort of the green trim with the main blue with the white stripes. I like how the logo sort of fits, the Puma badge sort of fits. It's just a shame that this real nice beautiful kit with a nice little sponsorship in the middle is going to be worn by a team that just lost to Fylde 1-0. It's a real shame because uh, it could have gone to a much better team that aren't on the cusp of relegation. Now, just missing out on the top spot in my list, the sec my second favourite kit is Millwall's. I uh, like the sponsor, Husky Chocolate. I feel it's, it's got a bit of a retro vibe to it sitting there in bold letters in the middle of the shirt. I like the sort of ringed design sort of thing going on in the uh, sleeves. Obviously, um, pretty simple kit, but it does the job for me. I like the shorts and the socks, sort of follow that ring design kind of kind of feel. And I feel it was a solid kit for a very, very, very shaky team. You know, if you're signing John Doddy Bavardson as your main talisman for the season, you know you're not looking to the northern end of the table at the end of the day. I think it's going to be another hard season for Millwall, but that's for another video, the kit. 8 out of 10. Now, controversially, my favourite kit of the uh, season is going to go to Hull City. A very average team, you know, Jared Bowen FC kind of thing. But I just think that sort of tiger claw design at the top, very nice. Umbro have done very well with this kit. Sport Pacers sort of logo sponsorship, sort of not really that in for, into your face kind of thing. Sort of a subtle addition to the kit, which I like. But yeah, I feel it's a very nice kit. You know, I know a lot of people don't like it. It's sort of marmite like it or you hate it, I love it. So, there's my uh, favourite kit for the championship season going into it. I'll have, as I've said, videos on all the shittiest kits, best away kits, shittiest away kits. And I'll also have my updated predictions when the transfer window ends. And I'll have another video, sort of like my favourite championship team. All of that, if that's out by now, I don't know when I'm releasing it. But if you've enjoyed and you want to see more, like, subscribe, uh, hit the little bell thing, because then you'll know when I upload. I'll see you in the next one.